Hey, what's up? Josh Blanchard here, and welcome to the action. So this is a house that we bought at a tax sale here in the Midwest, and I'm gonna to talk to you guys a little bit about what's going on. So I've been here all day. I was supposed to meet with some contractors, and they bailed, and that happens quite a bit. <laughs> so no worries. Uh, let me tell you a little bit about this. So Pick this up for thirty thousand dollars the grass was uh, beginning to get out of control i was trying to find someone to cut the grass uh, i actually got the neighbor across the street there you can see he cut the grass for me today it was going to cost me a little bit of money to go rent a, uh, a lawnmower so i didn't want to do that see the exterior is quite nice quite lovely but sometimes they trick you and this is one of those times that they tricked you so it was occupied and I thought that it'd be in okay shape. A little bit worse than I thought, but I'll tell you how I'm going to come against that. Quite a huge backyard there, you can see. Massive, absolutely massive. They were growing a little garden thing. Get rid of that soon and they had some chickens in there. Whatevs, no big deal. So here's the back. You can see I put the lockbox on. One of the first things you wanna do get the lock box change out the locks if it's vacant you definitely don't want anyone coming in uh, and if you don't know how to do that there's a lot of Google videos YouTube videos out there um, so this is it this is the inside this is the kitchen you can see they left and they are not coming back so for me since I'm out of state uh, actually out of country what my next step is regardless whether I wholesale it I want to fix it and flip it or I want to fix it and rent it. The first step for me is getting all this trash out of here. So what I'm going to do is grab a couple fellas and fill up a U-Haul and get, uh, get this stuff out of here. Bathroom, you got it's two bedrooms and two, two baths. So it's, it's pretty, pretty nasty in here but the bones are good. I hear it bugs. There's a wasp nest outside. I'm gonna let someone else get that. Here's the other bedroom. And the other bedroom in there. Water tank. So that's that's what's going on here. And it's so hot. So, 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 so hot. It's wild. Let me, uh, let me flip this real quick. Hey, I look, I feel really hot. <laughs> So that's, that's the deal with this place. And what I'll do is grab a couple of guys. I can grab a couple of guys at Home Depot, or I grab a couple of guys uh, off Craigslist, Angie's List, etc. Like I said, we're gonna fill up the truck, U-Haul or something with trash, get all this stuff out of here. Uh, I've already met with a realtor today. The only reason I'm using a realtor is because I am not, I just got one house here. So it's not like I've built a network in this area. If you are continually working somewhere, Best thing you do is be building a buyer's list so that you can avoid that, uh, that fee and, and just kind of build your network, build your people, have people that you can offload things to quickly. That's the best way to do it. Uh, so that was just a little, a little information about this place. Uh, yeah, so we're going to fix it up. Not really fix it up. The first thing we're going to do is yeah, get it cleaned out and we'll take it from there. You know, the, what I want to do is clean it out get it listed, see if we get any offers that are reasonable. Um, there's a lot of movement in this area. We're right by the airport as well. So it's not gonna be hard to sell it, but I wanna sell it at a good price. Uh, so if I can't get a decent offer like that, then I'll start looking at actually fixing it up, fixing it up, and then selling it. Or maybe renting it, because rents are pretty high in the area for what we paid for it. So that's, a, that's just a little bit from me. Catch you on the flip side. See you later, everybody. I'm gonna get out of this house because it's so hot.